could you recommend like three or four basic questions that m they might want to ask before letting their dog uh, stay there? Absolutely. First of all, if any time you're going to allow or, or ask that your dog stay anywhere without you present, I believe that you should request to be given a tour of the entire facility, not just the parts they want you to see, not just the parts that are pretty out front and you know well maintained for the clients. If they're comfortable with you seeing every part of their facility that says, that speaks volumes, first of all, whether it's a daycare facility, a grooming facility, a veterinary clinic, there should be no off limit. I say, okay, veterinary clinic, maybe the surgery, maybe the surgery room off limits for, uh, for understandable reasons, but basically everything else should be um, allowed to be seen by the client if they're leaving their pet in, in your care. Um, and certainly, I think one of the most important questions is if my dog, and you can word it in any way that, that you feel comfortable, but basically, if my dog were misbehaving in your eyes, what how would you handle that? Because there are some facilities who don't necessarily um, tell people up front that they are using things like squirt bottles or air horns or God forbid actually putting shock collars on people's dogs without telling them, you know, as soon as they leave, that's how they handle the situation. So people need to know what is being done, what is being used. If X happens, how will you handle it? Um, that's probably the most important question of all. And if um, even having something in writing, you know, whatever contract you sign, I think the contract with the facility should have something in writing uh, about how they would handle and how they would not, what they would not use <laughs> in a situation like that.